Okay, so this is a little bit of a uh, unexpected one. It's not necessarily one that I saw after. It's not something that I had ever heard of before. This is Julian's Collie Waffles Breakfast Sandwiches. So today I forgot my lunch and so I went down to the store that's not too far from here and I looked in the frozen food section for something that I could eat really quick and here we go. Uh, this Kind of caught my eye is a turkey sausage and cheddar sandwich um, between two collie waffles <laughs> so they're gluten-free and grain-free so the store just to let you know is kind of like a health food kind of place um it looks like it has pretty good nutrition facts i mean that wasn't the reason why i got them i got them because it was something that was pretty quick it seemed and it seemed like it was something that was decent that I could just eat um, so it has cauliflower instead of like wheat so instead of like a regular waffle that you would ordinarily get it's just this cauliflower waffle instead and it's not vegan but it's gluten-free and it's pretty simple for the cooking directions. You just open it up, put it in the microwave for like a minute and 45 seconds, and then you let it cool for a minute. So this is the Kali waffle turkey sausage. So you see there, it's a pretty good size. Not like a huge uh, sandwich, but pretty decent so let's put it in the microwave and see how it tastes this is interesting i actually kind of like it um it's got little turkey patty and waffle that's made of cauliflower instead of wheat so it's like a cheeseburger and it's got cheddar on it so it's kind of like a cheeseburger with a cauliflower waffle instead of a actual wheat bun and I've been cutting it into little pieces because it's still kind of hot and I want to eat it <laughs> so just cutting it up a little bit more let it cool down faster and it's got kind of a sweet-ish taste not sweet sweet like you would typically associate with waffles but it's good enough I did um, for an earlier piece put a little bit of ketchup on it and actually I think I like it better without the ketchup than with the ketchup. Um, you know, it's a odd little thing. Never heard of it before, but it's not bad. 